It's 2025, Java 24 is here, and for all of you still maintaining a Java 8 code base, well, here's your yearly reminder that Java does in fact still get updates. I was waiting on the Fireship video too, it never came. Now, Java may be one of the more dreaded programming languages by people who've never used it, and it's less admired than Kotlin and even C Sharp, but it's still admired by nearly half the people who actually use it. And that's not because they love the syntax or because they enjoy wrangling Hibernate queries that almost cost them their job. No, it's because unlike Zig admirers, Java devs can actually get a job, which they need so they can finally afford to buy enough RAM to run their Spring Boot application. But Java 24 does bring us some bad news. No more getting a cup of Java while waiting on the Java VM to load your Java application because Java's startup time has always been a problem, especially in cloud environments where you need microservices and serverless functions to boot up fast. But thanks to Java 24, ahead of time class loading and linking makes Java apps at least 42% faster at startup, which means your excuses for missing standup are now 42% weaker. This started with Project Layden back in 2022, which aimed to improve Java's startup time, performance, and footprint by introducing static runtime images. Now, those startup time improvements are built right into Java with AOT class loading and linking, and since Java execution traditionally rise on JIT compilation, where code is compiled at runtime, contributing to longer startup times, AOT class loading shifts some of this workload to before runtime. This results in faster application startup, but Java still lags behind Go due to its reliance on the JVM. Java's stream API is great until you try to do anything even slightly complex. Like let's say you want to group elements while streaming data. You have to manually collect everything into lists and write a bunch of extra logic, but now thanks to stream gatherers, you can batch and group elements naturally without all the extra code. You know how Python and Kotlin have been doing for years. And virtual threads has always had a very weird issue, where if you synchronized a block inside a virtual thread, you could accidentally freeze your entire system, and Java 24 actually removes that problem. That's because Java was pinning carrier threads, meaning other virtual threads couldn't run. But now you can use synchronized inside a virtual thread without breaking everything. Or you could keep using reentrant lock. And I know how much Java devs love boilerplate, but unfortunately with Java 24, some is being removed. Instead of writing multiple if-else conditions to check different types of objects, you can now handle them all in a clean, readable switch block thanks to pattern matching. Less boilerplate, more readability, just another way Java is catching up to other languages who have had these features for years. But Java has been way ahead of these other languages in some features, like Security Manager that it added back in the 90s. Java wanted to make sure untrusted code didn't do any bad things, like reading files or running shady reflection calls. And that's what Security Manager was supposed to do, keep everything in check. But this manager was more like your project manager that posts on TikTok all day instead of doing their actual job. And these days, nobody really uses Security Manager. And if you do, why? Don't. Stop it. Because instead of Security Manager, what we can use are containers or OS permissions or any of the security frameworks in Java that were born out of Security Manager not doing what it's supposed to do. So with this, Java finally improved itself by removing the feature, proving that sometimes the best way to optimize code is just to delete everything and start over. Although they're not starting over, they're just deleting it. And I know that's bad news for the three of you who still use Security Manager, but it's about to get worse because if you're crazy enough to still use Security Manager, then you're crazy enough to still use 32-bit Windows, which Java 24 is dropping. And for those of you who still use 32-bit Windows, I have some questions for you. Like how and why? And who's hurting you like this? Do you need help? Comment below. We are here to help. And while you're down there, subscribe because this is the end of the video. Goodbye.